At this point, we've talked about your product once, we've made an educated suggestion at the type of packaging that would work, and we've estimated your project. And you've accepted. That's great. Well, now we're ready to start your project. So here are the next steps we need to take. Now we're back to more questions. We start by having our clients fill out a creative packaging brief. Now a brief is just what it is. It says it's a series of questions that goes more in depth about your product and your audience. We want to know your product as well as you know your product. We take a closer look at your audience. Just exactly who are they? What age are they? Are they male, female? Where are we going to find them? What resonates with your audience? What is the pain that your product relieves? And also, what is your product story? Or your USP, a unique selling proposition. Why is it your product to buy more than someone else's? We look longer and harder at your competition. And this process includes a store visit. Now what's a store visit? Well, it's just exactly like it sounds. We go out to the store where your product is most likely to be sold. And we look and see what's on the shelf. We find out who is there, who's the competition, what do they look like, who's next to where your product may fit, are there any colors associated with the brands that are already there so that we can either stay away from them or, or do something that stands out from them. Does your product have to be peg hooked or should it be on the shelf? Does your product also need a lot of explanation? Will your audience know what it is without explanation? Do you need a high-end box or a luxury box to compete with the competition? What is your audience expecting? Those are many of the things that we can find out when we go and take that store visit. After the store visits, we go back to the office where we ponder the possibilities. This is where the magic happens. We take the answers that we've gathered in the creative brief and we start to apply them to our design thinking for your package. For instance, we determine if your product needs explanation. What's the best way to accomplish that? Is it with a photograph, an illustration, a diagram? And how are we going to show that product in use? We may have a chat with a photographer if needed to know what they think of our photo thoughts and how to accomplish it. We also consider stock imagery. Would that work for what we need? And then possibly photo manipulating your product into those stock images. We consider a font choice for your package. What, what should that be? Should it be a funky look, a modern upscale? We take your outline of the benefits that you've given us and decide if they need to be enhanced for the package, expanded or shortened. Sometimes too much copy looks crowded and makes it hard to read. Once we've created some designs and we're happy with them, we'll present them to you. In most cases, we'll PDF them to you. We might even create a mock-up for the box, mainly to see if the thickness of the paper specified is going to work or if the product needs to be held in the box in a certain way. Then we gather a feed, the feedback through a phone call with you or perhaps even a Skype call, which sometimes even works better. 